Hello Year 4 and welcome back to our third maths lesson this week. Okay, I've written the date in Roman numerals for us today. Just over here, can you write today's date, please? Have a go, pause the video. Can you remember what X stands for? V and then we've got I, so one more than V. Okay, hopefully you've written that down, let's check. Today's date is the 10th of June 2020. And our can I question is, can I convert, so that means swap between, analog and digital times looking at the 12 hour clock. So we're really gonna focus in now on time a little bit more. A question to get you thinking, have a look at my clock here. What time is the analog clock showing? So this is an analog clock one that you might have in your home, have a look around your room, have you got an analogue clock? One that looks like this with our numbers around the outside and our big minute hands, our hand and our second hand. Have a look at the clock. What's different about yours? What's the same about yours to the one I've got here? So this is the analogue clock. Now what time is it showing? So you've got three options. Have a think, pause the video if you need to. The time is A, 15 minutes past 10, B, 20 minutes past 9, or C, quarter past 10. Have a think, pause the video. A, B, or C. All right, hopefully you recognise that it is B, 20 minutes past 9, or we might say, 20 past nine, okay? Because if we remember, we're counting round, each one of these numbers shows a five minute interval. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, okay? So we've got 20 minutes past nine. Now that's how it looks on an analog clock. How does it look on a digital clock? Here's my digital clock. Maybe some of you have a digital clock at home as your alarm clock. Have a think, have you got one in your house anywhere? If you have um, a device, so for, for example, a mobile phone or a tablet, when you click the home button, you might see the digital time on there. So we've got a digital clock here and it's slightly different to when we record the time from an analog clock. You'll notice we've got our hours here, and then we've got the colon, and then it shows our minutes. And it always shows in our minutes the minutes past the hour. And for digital clocks that aren't 24 hours, it will either say AM or PM. Now, I wonder if you know what that means. So. AM means before midday, so before 12 noon, okay? And PM is after 12 noon, so lunchtime, 12 in the middle of the day, and before or up to midnight, so 12 midnight. So that's our AM is before midday and PM is after midday. And if we're using the 12 hour clock, we need to have that AM and PM. You'll also notice that I've got all of the available spaces filled in. So we need to make sure that we put, if it's 9.20, we make sure we put the zero before um, the nine, not just leave that out. So that's our digital time, okay? Let's have a look at some questions together. So let's have a look at our clock here. The time is something past 10. So I can see my hour hand, the shorter hand here, is just after 10. And I can see here, I've got five, if I count round, 10, 15. Now we might say, looking at that clock, we might say the time is quarter past 10 because it's a quarter of the way through the hour the hour is 60 minutes and we're a quarter of the way through ok 
okay because a quarter of 60 is 15 so the time is quarter past 10 this can also be written as 15 minutes past 10 now let's write that as if we would see it on a digital clock the time is 10 that's our hours that's our hour hand there and then we put in the minutes the minutes past the hour so in this case it's 10 15 and we can decide whether it's a.m. or p.m. I'm going to make this a.m. 10 15 in the morning oh just before break time okay so your turn now pause the video and have a go at this for me can you write each of these times in the digital format so have a go and you can decide if it's a.m. or p.m. it doesn't really matter for this question here but have a little think pause the video and have a go see if you can write those times in the digital format and once you're ready come back and we'll go through the answers okay hopefully you've had time to have a go at that let's look at it together here's my I'll just get my pen so we've got here let's look at our hour hand it's on the one so I'm going to write zero one and how many minutes pass let's count round five ten fifteen twenty twenty five so you should have written zero one twenty five so twenty five past one let's have a look at the next one I've got my hour hand between the three and the four so I can put my hours in here zero three and I've got my minute hand going straight down to the six now I know that that's halfway through the hour half of 60 is 30 so it's going to be 3 30 I'm not writing my AMs and PMs but well done if you've written yours and you can decide if you want it to be AM or PM let's have a look at the next one. Oh, a little bit more tricky now we've got to think carefully is my hour hand is that before 11 or past 11 it looks like it's just before so the hour can't be 11 the hour in fact is going to be 10 that one's a bit of a tricky one and now let's count round I'm not going to start at 12 I'm actually going to start at 6 because I know 6 is 30 minutes so 30 35 40 so I've got 10 40 is my time there that might have caught some of you out you might have thought that looked like it was 1140 but if it was 1140 the hour hand would be closer to 12 and let's have a look at this final one again another tricky one we might want to say that it's five minutes to three almost but let's have a look or 55 minutes past two it's not quite at the two it's just between the one and the two so my hour is still going to have to be zero one and this time my minutes now I could count all the way around 5 10 15 20 ugh, but that's going to take me ages I know that the full hour is 60 minutes so I can just take off that five minutes and I know that's going to give me 60 take away five is 55 so zero one 55 55 minutes past one we might say in the an analog time oh that's five minutes to two okay last one for you then before you get on with your independent learning have a go at this one can you record the time of each activity in digital format off you go once you're ready play the video again and we'll go through the answers okay here we go and this time we've got am or pm so we'll make sure that we include those in there so here we've got netball it's a bit smaller this time so we've got to look very carefully now that's between the four and the five and i know from before that if my minute hands on the six that's 30 minutes past so it's going to be 30 minutes past four in the afternoon when netball is on 0430 p dot m 
Let's have a go at the next one. What about football? Okay, all. I know from before that quarter past was 15 minutes because a quarter of 60 is 15. Half it, 30 and half it again. And I can see my hour is between 10 and 11. So I know my hour is 10 and my minutes are 15. 10, 15, A, M, and our next one, oh, tricky one, don't let this one catch you out. So I know this time we've done our 15, we've done our 30. I know that three quarters of 60 is 45 because half is 30 and a quarter is 15, so 45. And my hour is going to be six. So it's zero, six, 45 p.m. So in the evening, so 45 minutes past six in the evening we might say quarter to seven and our roller disco finally we've got five ten fifteen twenty twenty minutes past it's between eleven and twelve so it's going to be eleven twenty and it's eleven twenty a m Okay, great job. You should be ready to start your independent learning now. I'll just show you it's here. It should be analog to digital 12 hour and you're going to complete some more of those questions that we've just been looking at and then some problem solving questions here. Okay, good job guys and well done for all your hard work.